two, one, go, go, go. Oh, hey guys. Hi, we're the Nature Squad. And today we'll be doing creek exploration. Yeah, we're gonna st stalk um, the creek over there under the bridge. Um, and hopefully find some crayfish, maybe frogs. Yeah, we're gonna go to a lake, maybe. Um, uh, and in an earlier birds. video, we uh, caught a frog. Um, and we we might uh, have a lead on um, that uh, that lake being as uh, being the source. So uh, let's go. Let's dive right oh. in. From here on out, we're gonna start our creek exploration, and the dam is farther that way. So. And you guys on, are on guys. my head. Come on, guys, let's go. And here we have some polar which is what we'll be catching today. So uh, here is a mating pair of um, ducks. Well, it is a male and a female together, and it's springtime, so yeah. I'm pretty sure it's mating. Just a cool uh, quick fact for you guys. Um, that's made at springtime. Yeah, I think they might have made that. Whoa, I have to use this camera there. Now, guys, if you guys tend to be, like, having the camera quite shaky, it is because you guys are on my head, and I don't know if you guys see what we're walking on, but this is kind of <laughs> tricky to get across. so long ago. What is it, guys? So, years ago, years ago, me and Colin, we first trapped here. I lost part of my trap. Oh my gosh, you found part of oh your trap? God. Okay, guys, so Jeez. they, um, Ismail and Cole, when they were younger buds, guys, we got um, there, right? they, they, uh, ah, sorry, they lost part of their trap. And they found it here. Yeah. This place is already, uh, treating us well. nature preserve yeah it's kind of overgrown kind of yeah, nice of well, kind of makes it kind of cool to explore now call me a nerd but according to my calculations this is mugwort and now it, it's actually an herb even though it's a weed like people use it for many uh healing purposes especially in chinese medicine so Oh yeah, we'll see you guys when we get to the lake. Alrighty guys, so actually before we make it to the creek, um, Cole and Ismail found this thing, it's called Lemonade Berry. I don't know much about it, but I'm sure they'd love to tell you about it. And so, these are used, these little tiny berries, they're not quite de yeah. fully developed yet, because when they are, they are, uh, Minty taste. Yeah. They uh, taste very good. Uh, you can suck on them, and uh, it has like a minty taste to it. You can Here, also use them to let me give it a drinks. try. Can I? Do I just suck it, or do I just chomp into it? Suck it. You can chomp it too. If you want. It has like a minty sour flavor, mm -hmm. right? I'm gonna chomp it. I'm gonna try it. It's very minty. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna spit it out. I can see. I can see why it's called lemonade berry. I just got fuzz. All right, come on, guys. Alrighty, so um, we're almost at the uh, creek. Lemonade. The jackpot area. Um, while scouting, we found some uh, ducks there. Just like, you know, yeah. So now we've made it to the lake. Now we have never actually explored this area before, but it's really cool. We'll see you guys when we get over the fence. So guys, we just uh, found a grape blue heron. There's a grape blue heron right there, guys. On the on the rocks. And he is just looking for food. Which means there must be fish here because... Yeah, they, 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 well, there are fish Well, not here. necessarily fish, but... Um, mosquito fish. Uh, we're talking crayfish, minnows. Mosquito fish. You're going to hear us say mosquito fish a lot, but it's not your, like, average fish. It's it's, it's like a small fat... I don't know if you guys know what this is, but this is like, it's kind of like a molly and a platy. Now, you can get those at cro um, aquarium stores. Coyote tracks here. Coyote tracks. Guys, let's check out the coyote oh, tracks. Please. Wait, oh. Those are fresh. Oh, oh man down, man down. You okay, Chevy? Yeah, I'm good. Already, uh, this is really cool. Oh, Guys, nice. look at the coyote tracks right here. Those are pretty fresh. You can tell that the coyote slipped as well. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> you, we've never been here before, so as you guys, what you guys are seeing is all brand new to us as well. The hair is on the move. <laughs> and I already fell as well. Oh, you okay, Hudson? That's why you wear not the greatest clothing when you're on these kind of a Adventures, I just fell in again. In. <laughs> Here, give me a hand. Oh gosh, thank you. <laughs> Guys, this is so fun but slippery. Oh gosh. Whew. 
Alrighty, well I'm a little muddy, but I guess it's kinda what you expect when you explore a creek that you've never, or a lake that you've never seen before. Ah, guys, this plant has a lot of, like, thorns on this. Oh, you wanna wear my waders? I'm kinda sick of them. No, I'm not going down the deep end. Yeah. No. Alrighty, guys, we'll see you guys when we get to a point where we find something interesting. Alrighty, so we just crossed, and uh, you missed it, but Cole pretty much was, um, it was way over waist deep. But he was wearing uh, wa like these little like waders, so okay. he should be fine. Okay, I well, next time you might want to buckle it. I yeah. see a bunch of oxygen bubbles around here, um, but they may be. Mayo, what they, what may they be? If they're not oxygen bubbles, if if not, then they're um, they're it's pressure being released from the bottom of the mud, and that does happen often. So I'm not, I don't necessarily have my hopes up, but. I'm still optimistic. Guys, comment down below uh, what you guys think might live in here. And if you have been here and you know of something that lives in here, comment down below. But um, we're gonna Ness keep monster. exploring. <laughs> yeah, the Loch Ness Monster. We'll keep exploring until we find something interesting that you guys might like to see. But I'll uh, see you then, bye. Um, all right guys, so this is um, algae infested and um, Cole is attempting to go down um, into like a very, um, very deep pit. Um, he's doing so right now. Is it deep call? Comment down below if you think this is a good idea. Let's get into that pipe, shall we? What do you guys think lives in there, guys? Comment down below. It looks like a... Oh, wow, this is really deep. Yeah, because it's kind of dark. I might not be able to get out. Uh-oh, Cole, you stuck? All right, he got out, guys. Uh, We're going to keep going. So we'll keep you guys on my head uh, to what we find live. I think this might be uh, golden algae. Wait, are you kidding me? What is algae? Isn't that dangerous? Algae can kill us all. No, red algae can. How? I don't know. Wait, is this golden algae you said? It looks like it. But I'm not what does gold algae do? Gold, gold, gold al golden algae do to you exactly? I don't know of any uh, harmful effects to humans, but I do know it kills fish. I haven't, I haven't done much research on it, so I'm. But then fish are gonna have like a slime coat and stuff. Exactly. Guys, comment down below if this is a golden algae, and if if it is. Tell us what you think uh, or what you know are the side effects of if a person gets exposed to it. Does someone maybe like maybe carry my shoes or anything? Guys, I think I want to check out this this area because it looks I'd like there's a bunch of roots yeah. over here. It looks like I think something might live in that, guys. Yeah, totally. That's totally a burrow. Something lives in that. I bet you it's a bunny. Bunny. Guys, we're not kind of frogs here. Frog, guys, frogs. Be, be ready. Alrighty, guys. So we caught a uh, um, goldfish, actually. Yeah, and he's actually really big. We we Cole caught him actually. So uh, we named to him. him. We named him Gabe the goldfish. Yeah, and, and Gabriel Yellow. Hey, girl. can I hold them? Not right now. And um um, if my mom watches this, I'm Harrison and Vivian. Alrighty, yeah, we have a little bit of special guests who are interested in the goldfish, because who wouldn't be? So <laughs> we sadly think that the owner possibly couldn't take care of him anymore and, and just released him, released him in, in here. And he's like, been thriving the past few days, isn't he? Yeah, he's been striving for like three weeks now, and he's really Whoa. fat actually. Yeah, Cole, can you show how fat he is now? Well, he's like. He looks pretty big, yeah. He's very fat. Them? So, um, we what, do, what do a goldfish. Uh, he might have been eating these little minnows what do they, what or do they something. They technically eat, like. In the creek, mm. they will. I have no idea. Well, I have no I, I idea. Know, I know people do feed them like those little krill, and krill's related to crabfish. And probably that you gave them mosquito fish. Oh, right. did I see the crabfish? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we bought. Uh, we we also did crabfish. catch some crayfish, crayfish. but um, back to the uh, goldfish. Can I, um, grab one of them? I believe this is just a regular feeder goldfish. Comment down below if you know exactly what it is. Um, we're gonna release this guy. Uh, oh, yeah, this guy will get pretty big since he's just a regular feeder up goldfish. To three feet. Yeah, something like that. Jeez, that's big. And they're really cheap. They're like, okay, wait, I don't so know, like 25 cents in the store, maybe yeah. less. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna release this guy. So enjoy the underwater and we're footage. Get some cool underwater footage. Yeah, yeah so uh, see you when we get the underwater footage. Mayo caught this like giant lo um, lobster like.
like crayfish. We have caught him in the past. Yeah. He lives here. He he is he, by he, far the biggest one here. I think we caught oh him the monster. Wait, let's right? try to. Yeah, we're calling the monster. Let's see if he'll grab the camera. Because guys, this little camera I'm using is definitely uh, oh, big enough hold him? for him to grab onto something. Okay. Oh yeah, guys, you can't see him. He is trying kind of to pinch the camera, but let's get close to him. Oh, hold on, put him down so I can see this. Guys, let's get a close up of the mouth here. Let me, like, do you mind me uh, taking him so we can get a little bit of a close up this now? So, um, it looks like a reg- it's like the same features of a regular crayfish, just it's mega like, fine. I did some research, and it's actually called a red swamp crayfish, oh. or a Louisiana crayfish, and they are highly invasive to this area. And then also, like I was saying in my past video, which if you haven't seen, check it out right there. It'll be up in like your top right corner of your screen. But um, this is an easy way to tell uh, a difference between a male and a female. As you guys can see, his claws are very long. And if it was a female, it would be short and stubby. But um, enjoy the uh, release of this, uh, enjoy the underwater footage release of this creature.